All right, what is up, everybody? I am here today with the Orange Bag Lady, who's everywhere, all over social media, who's a big time collector. She's close with all the major YouTubers. She kind of feeds us all the insight. And yeah, we're just kind of here. I want to learn more about her, kind of get some of the deets today. And uh, yeah, just talk more about collectibles. So what's up? What's happening, Josh? <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on. This is such an honor and I feel so blessed and privileged. And yeah, this is just, this is crazy. Uh, so thank awesome. you so much for the invite. I appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. It was a you know, pleasure to have you on the show. Like I said, I've been seeing you everywhere. Like I was like on Twitter and then I was on Telegram and then I was on YouTube and I was like, okay. I was like, I've seen your face too many times. I was like, you gotta come on the show. I went to see Crypto Maniac's channel the other day and I saw you're on like the live stream with Johnny Dunn and you've been getting retweeted. Like it's all happening so fast for you, eh? Dude, I, I was just saying, like I don't use social media. I like I've had my Twitter from like 2010 and it had been gathering dust since then. Um, and then it's in this last like two weeks since I've started doing this, like I had to wait. I'm over in London at the minute uh, wow. and my la my laptop at home is a bit crappy. So I've been waiting to use my mom's Mac so to make videos and stuff. So I just had to wait. And then, yeah, in the past two weeks, it's been it's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. And people really underestimate, like, when you do, like, content creation, just how much time it takes. Like, when you're thinking about a tweet, when you're uploading a YouTube video, like you got to edit the video, you've got to like download it on your computer, upload it to YouTube, come up with like a good idea for it. Like there's a lot oh, that goes into there's this. There's a lot, there's a yeah. lot that goes into it. And like, I think giving, we'll come in, obviously I consume a lot of YouTube. Like we were yeah. just saying, I have watched all you guys for since March. Um, and just being on this side of it now kind of mm -hmm. seeing all of the you know the cogs that and the wheels that turn and what goes into making everything that we watch every day you know it's a lot of work it really um, is yeah. it's a lot there's a lot and it was kind of cool because uh, you showed me a list that you were working on of like your different youtubers and like what they kind of do for you and i'm just going to read some of the brackets that uh, you sent me so you've got like yep technical analysis which has like orion taps trades wannabe champ and daniel lee which i thought was cool and those and those guys are like extremely intelligent like i find when i watch their stuff i'm like i get just such a good breakdown of everything that i need to know regarding like the utility the token what's to come like it's like a really yeah, good overview right yeah it's like sort of a bit more of an expansive view sort of outside yeah. we, we you know we have the the core vv news and then there's like this other layer and then there's you know like you say the the, the utility layers yeah um which is really interesting i think it's really good for all of us to to be informed about all of that sort of stuff so yeah they're great and and can i just say i'm not okay. sure if i've got all of these guys in the right <laughs> oh, categories <that's> <laughs> so yeah. please ping me ping me and let me know which category you should be in if uh yeah so, yeah go ahead <laughs> no that's cool that's really cool i was gonna say like it's crazy because uh, I remember when I first saw the Taps Trades video, the Omi price prediction one, like the roadmap. Mm. And he, I think he got like 40,000 views. And then I, I remember like he, we had like some kind of message on Twitter and, and I messaged him and I was like, man, like it's so cool when you meet some of these YouTubers because it's almost like little celebrities. Like that's how I feel. Dude, it absolutely <laughs> yeah. is. It absolutely yeah. is. Like I felt when we first came on, my heart was a wee bit like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming on to talk to Chad here like you know Chad from NFT Pirates like yeah so and, and that's what that's what's so cool about it is like these are all to all, to me anyway these are all you know up here and having like I just said having the the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with you guys it's just and Taps as well he's in our group and yeah. you know we have a good number of people that I never thought that I'd be able to you know pick their brain or so. And same here. And I would never thought that people would ever be like excited to talk to me. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's amazing, it's amazing what YouTube Damn. can do. Like all of a sudden people are like, oh, hey, Chad. And I'm like, hey, like I'm just a regular old Chad here. But now hey, it's, like, yeah, yeah. it's like Chad now. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's so not weird. Just Chad. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's actually so funny. And you know, it's cool too. We, I, uh, I recently like had a one on one, well, not a one on one, but like a three on one interview with Reese for a meme I competition that we started. 
I watched it last night. I was wedding yeah. myself. I was like, this is going to be epic dude this yeah. is gonna be so good yeah we're super psyched like i think like you know three weeks all the and the prizes are gonna be insane like some of the prizes are like you know we said 300 gems and ultra rare but uh reese also said that there could be some uh, actual marvel collectibles too potentially Ooh. so yeah so we were like freaking out but when i saw reese i was like i was so nervous because i was like man like it's like speaking to tom cruise for me like i'm like <laughs> totally totally unfair flip and play to you for getting it like getting them in on your channel and like yeah. talking up mate that's so awesome like that's yeah. so awesome congratulations on yeah the thank you third. and it really wasn't me it was like the enemy fuzzball the uh, the twitter king for the og meme lord and uh Kobe yeah. homies that like set it all up and they reached out to me and were like hey do you want to be a part of this and i was like sure and then we thought it was gonna be like a small thing like just like the three of us a few prizes and then he reached out to Comey and Reese is like yeah let's do an interview and get this started and we're oh, like oh my so... god I was like yes yeah. like whoa well, that yeah. must have been I'm sorry I keep hitting this I keep hitting it oh, that's, fine. Um, yeah. that's so sick and you know what else is so freaking sick that Reese is willing and is down for this yeah. and he's like so you know up for for getting down with the community and getting on our level talking to all of us and you know it's just like it's unheard of like it's so unheard of especially the size of this like i'm like you just signed marvel and then like 24 hours after that like you literally signed the biggest brand in the world for nfts it's gonna trans it's gonna revolutionize and then 24 you're talking to me i'm like who am i like why Dude, you, you know i said i i meant I'm yeah. thinking the exact same thing, but then I'm also like, that is what makes this company different. Mm -hmm. That's what makes them stand out from, you know, everybody else. I keep saying this as an example. Like, can you imagine 10 years ago? Do, do you remember Netflix when you had to like post, uh, you got like DVDs in the post from Netflix? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was talking to Crypto Khaki about that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember like that long ago? Yeah. Um, can you imagine like talking to the you know the chief executive of flipping netflix on on facebook or something or yeah. or talking to jeff bezos when when amazon was still selling books like it's there's no so way there's, there's no, no way. way so yeah it's insane yeah. i totally agree with you and like that's where i feel like so privileged because i'm like i know that the only reason that we even got any views is just because like the support from the community right and exactly. and like other people in the space too like if new youtubers will come up they give like 20 subs and they do like one or two videos and then all of a sudden three four other bigger youtubers are like go check this out like you know like it's just the opposite it's like uplifting instead of kind of trying to suppress totally. it's really unique yeah totally and the, yeah. i i learned the saying um when i first started all the crypto stuff and it was what is it uh, a rising tide raises all ships yeah so and i just feel like that that's like this company's ethos like and everybody in the community and in the youtube oh. community as well like if we all you know if we all go up if we all support each other then everybody is gonna is gonna benefit you know what i mean yeah. rather than this like dog eat dog attitude which is just i just i can't get after it at all yeah um and that's maybe why i didn't go into business like before or any sort of had didn't have any interest in any of that sort of stuff just because it's so the attitudes are so ruthless you know mm -hmm. um and the idea of like that competitiveness and that a type personality that you need to make a successful business i just don't believe it um Agreed. and i think that ecomi or you know and vivi are, are showing that that you can you can be on the ground level with people that are you know your consumers yeah. And you don't have to be this big, like scary, unreachable overlord kind of thing. Yeah. I you mean, know? that's such a great point you make. I love, first of all, I love that quote. That's it's a really good cool. Quote. I'm going to, I'm going to use quote. that. Dude, <laughs> I'm using that quote dude, for and it. you have to, you're a yeah. pirate. You yeah. need to take True. that. True. Oh you man. Take that. That's going to be like our slogan. <laughs> Just take don't it. copyright it because, uh, <laughs> yeah, of course it. not. Yeah. Your family, family, take hey, it, take it. I like it. Man. No, that sounds good. And uh, I saw you got some other YouTubers and I'm, I'm part of the brand collecting part, which yeah. is cool. So we've got Cryptomaniac in there. 
VV Vault, The Gale, NFT Pirates, you know, so that's just a good starting of the list. And I think, um, I don't know if you saw some of the new guys out now, it's, this is the comic way. And yes, uh, he needs to go on there. Yeah, and go uh, on there. VV Flipper too, but like, okay. man, there's so many though, like there's so many. So many, and yeah. I need to, you know, you will have, you are gonna have great contacts for that list. Yeah. I'm sure, you know, the analytic guys will have a good, you know, set of people that they could maybe add. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll hit you guys up and we'll, we'll update it for sure. I love this. This is almost like a peer into like everything out there. I know Taps did one on a YouTube video, <laughs> by the way, I was on one of Taps' YouTube videos, which I had no idea about. And no he way. just, yeah, he basically named all the top YouTubers within the Ecomi space. <gasps> and for, and then he talked about different ones and I was like, and I never even saw it. He like re he did like a tweet on it recently and was like, Hey man, like you're in this or whatever. So I was like, wow, this is so cool. But like, look oh, at how yeah. big this list is now. So I, and then I, under crypto news, Wendy O, I don't know if I've heard of her. She's cool. Yes. Wendy O, she's great. Um, there's yeah. a couple of, she just does like, she's much more of a, I think she does like technical analysis. It's not specific to Omi. She kind of looks at yeah. all coins and like, right. uh, it's much more of a trader. Um, so yeah, I was watching her. I would, well, I would still watch her to kind of get, a more you know overall um perspective on like the crypto space in general yeah and uh, so she's really good um, cool and like you said i know some of those guys i remember i saw J J R N Y crypto i remember when that guy had like twenty five thousand subs and now he's got really? over a half million and that was <gasps> fast really yeah i remember he started a collector's program and i swear he made like 50k in like one day because he started a collecting program and i think you had to pay like i forget i think a hundred bucks or something uh to sign up and then i think he had literally like five thousand subs that same day holy crap yeah holy crap and, and I, then, I love i love his style you know the way he's just real like dry <laughs> yeah and like real news reader like and today we have this and he's like the same every single day exactly it's, it's like like coins going up it's amazing what you could get <laughs> what you can make being like like coins guy going up i'm still really bullish about litecoin i just forgot that was every just time like it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah Bad. And then uh, VV Info News. So this is where you got all the big players too. So you got Earth2 Mastery, who is awesome. I, I feel like he kind of like stopped doing YouTube recently, right? He was going yeah. hard. He was going really hard. I remember yeah. watching his, with his, what's, what's his, what's his, uh, Gab with Gab, mm. with Gab in the background. Yeah. I was watching him when I first started and I think the last video we did was like four weeks ago or something so right. I know Liz, I know people have jobs and I know people you know have an actual life to get on with yeah on my, uh, but so of course you know I couldn't imagine I'm like I've said a couple of times I'm not working at the minute so yeah. you know I have all the time in the world to kind of be to putting into this sort of thing but people who have a nine to five and who have kitties and who have you know actual proper life I don't know how they fit the YouTube in honestly it's crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I, you know, I'm trying to get like one video out every few days and I'm like, you know, working nine to five. I've got like, um, I've got like my house closing in. I've got a wedding coming up. So many things. Oh on the go. my it's like, goodness. You You're know? so, so busy. Then. Uh, yeah, You're it's like... pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. Like... But it's, it's amazing. Like to me, like when I see people like Hello K and he's like coming out with these videos that are like so informative and he's a software mm. engineer. And yep. I'm just like, I have no idea how like he balances it, but then also provides such like high quality information, you know, like generally I have to focus in on one little part because I, I'm, there's no way I'm going to comprehend like everything that's happened in two days. Cause I feel like he's like the God of Akomi. He's like overseeing everything. And he's like, <laughs> yes, let me take that piece here. And this just is sucks it up. And just like, <laughs> just like is able to create. Oh no, no, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah, and I love cool. his perspective on it as well. Yeah. is because i don't know if there's many sort of software-y engineering devy type people that we have it's true so to have him to have his yeah. perspective is super valuable because it's you know he he understands the sorry the um like the mechanics exactly of, of like the he's coding got the depth. And, yeah 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 He's yeah. just got that full widespread kind of understanding of everything. I agree. Mm. Another big fan of, uh, that I'm a big fan of is uh, Mark from VV Wiki. Oh yeah. yeah. He added me on Twitter. I haven't checked out his, is he on YouTube? 
He's not, yeah, he did a, uh, an interview with Reese like a while back, like a month and a half ago. Okay. Uh, and it was pretty cool. Like, and, and I think there's a few people and it was in the clubhouse and I had like over 3000 uh, views. And I think that's on YouTube now. Oh, and gosh, let's check it out. he's got like a really deep sense of like all the NFTs as well. Like he just understands like crypto and NFTs in general. So he sees like the value of, mm. of Vivi, but it's just neat because like when I talked to him, I could tell he's got like a lot of experience with it all, you know? So like, it's amazing too, as a YouTuber, cause like I get to like talk to people like you and all these other people. And that's how I kind of gain knowledge as well. Like, but Same. then I come out in the video and I'm like, guess what? This is going to happen. But they don't realize that just cause I learned that from three people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, definitely. Like that's, yeah. I think that's something that's, and I haven't seen any of that, you know, like, oh my gosh, you, you took this information on yeah. me. I haven't seen any of that sort of, you know, behavior, which I think is just a testament again to the community and mm -hmm. that we all, that we all want the same thing. You know, we're not in competition with each other. We're all, you know, there's so many factions of this that we call, you know, there's space for everybody to exactly, exactly to, you know, to bring to bring all there's so much flipping information as well there's no way that like you know so one or true. two people could cover everything it would be impossible did you ever see um boys crypto have you heard of him on youtube boys crypto no yeah no, boys crypto. So, so he was doing youtube videos on on vb and akomi and about like the nfts specifically okay but he gets like really comical and like a little bit deviant in some of the videos and and i okay. He's like, if you're ever looking for a good laugh and inter high entertainment value, like check that guy out. Like you should have a new part that's just like VV comedy or something. Hundred percent, hundred percent. There has to. Well, I'm gonna. You know what yeah. I'm gonna need? Like a meme list of like meme people and like yeah, all, all of that. There needs to be more categories. A hundred percent. Yeah. But no, that's it's I'm really good list so out. far. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that guy out for sure i love your list do you like it yeah i'm going through it because i'm even learning i'm like staying alpha he's another big name got yeah. kyle in there obviously big names uh cavell you know i don't know if you know this but cavell was the first person that ever even saw our video so he i had 13 subs after like four That's videos right yeah. i do remember that i yeah. and i i probably picked you up from cavell as well because cavell yeah. was one of the ones that i was like first watching um, I think it was like Cavell, Kyle, Earth Two Mastery, um, right. yeah, and then they they would be pull. It was when they were pulling lots of you guys in, yeah, and then that you know that's how we then got onto you guys, and then that's where we've just like continued on with you guys after that. So it's insane, right? It, it's cool, like, uh, and I, now I find I get like the same opportunities. Like, obviously, we're not even close to the size of Cavell's channel, but like same opportunities to somebody like reaching out to me, and like now it's just like pay it forward because i'm like yeah like yes you've got good Paying content it forward that's you know? it. that is it there's a lot yeah. of that happening in this community yeah a that's super that. cool yeah no you got a lot of good ones but um so i want to learn a little bit more about you like so like how the heck did you find out about vivi like where like how does this happen for people like, like <laughs> so yeah. yeah so mine mine is a really weird one so uh so i'm out of work uh i was out of work in october uh, sort of take a taking a bit of a sabbatical type thing um so yeah just all this sort of spare time chilling right up until march and then my boyfriend and i are just chilling watching the news and he spots the the news story about people uh, uh, and his nft that was being sold at christie's um did you see that did you see that 69 million dollars 69 million dollars yeah so we got into this whole big debate about whether this was right whether this you know whether this had you know whether this should hold that much value you know being a digital piece we were sort of talking about the um whether or not that's uh, something that we can do as humans like we can we can take something that's so valuable and tangible and traditional and um you know there's so many so much crafting goes into traditional tangible art um in comparison to maybe a digital you know right. a digital piece of art and whether one was better than the other or whatever so so that he was 
he was all like, you know, it's not the same. It doesn't hold the same value. It doesn't take the same time. It doesn't take the same skill and all of this. So we were just back and forth right. about it. Um, so then we were like, you know, let's let's take a look. Let's just not, let's not, you know, get ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at people's art and uh, look at the piece on, on OpenSea. So I downloaded OpenSea and I downloaded uh, Mintable. And I also downloaded Vivi just because it was like, you know, in the little recommended app bar yeah. at the bottom. Uh, so it was OpenSea, Mintable, and then Vivi. And I was like, you know what? I'll just download all of these and see see what the crack is. And then, yeah, so that's how I got it, like, in my hand. Cool. And then, so just sort of went into the app and was like, this is super cool. Like, what am I looking at? Like, when I just first saw it, it was like totally like i love gaming i love games and all that sort of thing so um but i'm I've, I've said this in all my videos as well i'm super stingy so i'll play like the free games i'll play you know PUBG. i've been yeah. playing it for like two years but i haven't bought a single thing on that game <laughs> not a single thing or like and whenever i say i play games like i play um like old school games like spyro yeah. do you remember spyro the dragon of course yeah oh, good okay okay yeah. good so Spyro the Dragon, like Crash nice. Bandicoot, oh, um, yeah. Rayman, you know, all these like kitty flipping games I play yeah. on PlayStation 1 and 2. So cool. So I'm not into, well, I, I wasn't into that whole sort of in-game purchase idea. Yeah. But then came across VB, saw these things and was like, oh my God, I need to spend my money on these as soon as possible. Don't know what drove me. Don't know what like don't know what it was it's like this mystical uh i don't know right. honestly because it's so not like me i can't i can't stress this enough i'm not yeah. a risk taker i'm not a gambler i don't really like i spend my money where you know where it kind of needs to be i'm quite logical in that way right so yeah for me like all my family was like what are you doing like this is so you're putting your money into this and like why uh -huh. and you know all the questions <laughs> yeah so then from there, uh, I bought my, my first like five or six and then started talking to the community and the community feed. And I bumped into Wizard. I bumped into Orion. Yes. I bumped into, I can't pronounce her name. Is it Firelord69? Yeah. Is that one? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I'm so sorry if I've left you out, but you know who you are. You know who, know you, who are. you are. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah so i got into the got into the chat with those guys I was just asking them questions about uh omi and yeah. what the heck that was and what crypto is and i didn't know what an exchange was i didn't know you know what eth was i didn't know anything so then yeah so talking to these guys or whatever and they uh were explaining the whole and I, and I said, I'm just, I'm dyslexic as well. So I never thought that I'd be able to even like, you know, you look at the stocks and sh and you're just like, yeah, blown away. Whoa, it. whoa, yeah, like, yeah. too much. So, yeah. So I, I said, I told them this, I was like, you know, if you're going to explain anything like this to me, it needs to be, you know, broken down. I need to like be able to visualize what you're saying. You know, if you can explain it, like you're explaining it to a toddler, that yeah. would be exactly how i'll be able to like digest you know what you're saying so they were so i can't express this enough how gracious they were in and, and like i ask really silly questions and um it's just how i can like get my brain to fully like solidify it in my head yeah, like the sure. idea you know like the concept yeah so they were so good and Orion Orion was the main dude so we we headed over to um kick which is like a messaging app and then it was telegram cool and and he basically yeah I was like going through one process taking a screenshot sending it to him he was saying yep right this is where you need to go and he would take a straight screenshot back and we would just do this back and forth until like right up to where you know you would buy your first omi and I would have to exchange stuff and it was all, you know, it was, it was crazy, but, yeah. but we did it in the end. I was like, wow, I now own crypto. And then, wow, cool. yeah. Yeah. And then from there, I mean, I've sort of gone into uh, about 
10 other crypto projects I've looked wow, into. So, yeah. So. Wow. So you really like, you know, hit it running. Like that's definitely like, you know, 10 different crypto projects is no joke. Right. Mm. And, you know, to go back to a few things that you said, like, like there was a few interesting points is that first of all, you and your boyfriend were debating the physical versus kind of the digital art. And yeah. I thought that was like super crazy. Like just like the idea, because that's where my head was at too. I was like, you know, mm. but then I was thinking to myself, like, if this is the future and we're living inside a digital world in the future, then, you know, these, these non-fungible tokens and like, you know, even now we laugh, we say, oh, there's 8,888 Supermans. But when you think like this, is the very first time Superman's ever been uh, NFT, I think about it like in the physical world, when's the first time that, for instance, the first action figure or the first comic book came out and mm. what would, what does that mean in 20 years? from now Amen, dude. right Amen. like it's right. like and that's the thing that people forget it's just like oh it's just another superman but it's like no it's, it's first of all it's licensed so it's official you know yep. and look where crypto punks went just for being the first nfts dude that's nuts yeah that's nuts as well i i mean i still i i can anticipate a world in the future where you know people are like just like when you hear about bitcoin like i could see people being like you know, where's your Superman or who's got this or who's got that? Cause I'm like thinking to myself, like that's way more engaging and exciting mm. to me than just currency. You have utility with NFTs, you know, you have like a use case, you have all this visual stunning imagery, you know, you can put it into a, a world like the BB burst. Like there's just so much to it. So I don't know, like that's kind of where my, my head goes from that conversation. hundred yeah. percent. You're so right. Because yeah. I think and I think whenever you're going, like a lot of us are talking about that transition from, you know, the internet. I think I think we have like the, the same amount of people in crypto right now yeah. as we had in 1997 using the internet. Like that's the same uh... with like 17 million people or something are into crypto, which is the same amount of people that were into the internet in 1997. Wow. Like right, right now, do you know what I mean? So we're kind of in that like, cool. you know, that what's it called like a i don't know it's, we're on the cusp of like like adoption like like that like exponential curve exactly, yeah yeah exactly well that you know that's what that's kind of what i feel is personal obviously um yeah. from what we've all seen and what we've gathered through you know uh, through vivi and through all of our wider sort of crypto start research or whatever yeah um i think we all can see where this is going you know just outside of vivi right. like on the you know the a, a much more expansive sense like the, the the virtual world and like where games are going to be in 10 years and where art's going to be in 10 years and you know yeah. much more than just this little vivi ecosystem that we have going on so, exactly yeah. no that's super cool and like yeah i think i said this too before but i was like you know a lot of people presume that like we're going to be like going to different planets and like interstellar travel. But like, mm. but the thing is, is that we're creating such immersive experiences in the digital world that like you would probably have the same uh, sensations from something that's created here on earth than like then to risk your life over a friggin' four month voyage to 100%. Saturn in a hyperloop. You know what I'm trying to say? Like hundred percent. Yeah. Like you, you could, you could create the same, like you're saying about, about the sensation and like yeah. feeling that, that, and I think that's something, that's a really cool point that like the art and stuff, we're going to experience it in a different way and the feelings and the sensations that they are going to, you know, bring up and right. they're just going to get more and more intense and more and more realistic and more exactly. and more like immersive as well so right you're, you're totally right in that that they i feel like that's where they're going to put a lot of their energy and a lot of their you know their time it's, exactly yeah, very good point yeah I, I think that like it's just interesting because we I, I never really considered it before because i was like oh we're just we won't be there with digital technology for a while but then after hearing about like those hollow lenses and you know, some of these like holograms that are going to be coming up. And I was like, okay, like, you know, we, like you might, I don't know, like in the future, you might be in your starship in your home. Man, can you imagine? Right. Like things like that. Like, let's go to this planet and check out like these fake creatures. And I know I'm not going to die because 
because like, you're sitting on the sofa <laughs> with your cup of tea and you're you know what i mean you're 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 safe and totally totally yeah yeah that like that psychological uh barrier will be kind of removed i think yeah uh, yeah to you like having to go right right i'm going up to space now oh geez it's gonna be really scary and stuff you know you're just yeah. you can sit you know you have that that psychological safety um right of your environment being you know your house or whatever but then through this you're able to to go off into whatever environment exactly like perfectly said yeah Yeah. and then the big thing too with like the blockchain is like once you have like one of these things that are licensed and it exists on the blockchain so it can never really be counterfeited so it's like there's the other piece that like in in terms of like historical imprint like that's going to really smack it there and like so in 100 years from now people come back and say like wow like Superman came out in 2021 and it's currently, you know, it's 2,121. Like, you know oh what I mean? Oh my like, gosh. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, just those things, like, I don't know, like that's where my head goes, right? Like that's, and that's in collecting, 100%, right? Yeah. 100%. And I yeah. think that what you just said there about well, where my mind went when you said about looking back in a hundred years time at the blockchain, um, it's obviously it's this ledger, but it's, it's a record you're like what you just said it's like a record keeping system um and obviously how humans have have kept records you know from from millennia it's been books and they've gotten dusty and they've gotten moldy and they've yeah. you know you've maybe lost details because you've spilled a bit of tea on it or something <laughs> yeah, exactly. but with the blockchain with the blockchain you're never that's never going to happen yeah you know you're always going to have everything it's going to be secure you'll be able to put in a date and it'll just you know or i i'm not, I'm not quite sure how it works but yeah i would imagine that that's you know if you wanted to look up when superman was released you just type it into the uh immutable bro- immutable exactly blockchain or whatever it is and then it'll just take you directly to you know what you want to see so crazy right yeah, yeah. And I'm super excited. I don't know about you, but like about like the cash out process that that's kind of been confirmed now and that's coming, like not saying that I'm going to like sell everything, but it's just like mm. nice to know that there's that bridge now. It's Oh, if it's the fiat, is this the exactly um, the fiat? Okay. Yeah. But I think the big thing for me is just more like, you know, I put a lot of money into this. So I'm like, I'm obviously not going to take out everything. Like I'm going to like sell, but I want to sell like a few little things and just make sure that, you know, kind of getting back some of that initial investment. But yeah, absolutely. it's just like nice to know. Cause then I'm also thinking like in terms of like mass adoption, like when people know, like they can buy something on a drop, it's seven X's overnight. And then they're mm. like, Oh, and then I cash out Thursday. Like, I feel like investors worldwide would just be interested in that concept regardless. Definitely. Definitely. of whether they believe in it or not you know 100 percent. yeah 100 like percent. i was trying to explain it to my mom um because she obviously i'm talking to her about it and stuff yeah. um and she i told her about the cash like that you can't currently cash out um and it's something to do with the license isn't it like a license that they need like a money something money like transfer that. license yeah exactly money transfer license okay and it's really complex and like yeah yeah and it requires all like the tax documentation exactly and all of those layers you know that all needs to be worked out but yeah the kind of the way i was kind of thinking about it and this correct me if i'm wrong this could be completely wrong but the way it is at the minute the way you can kind of put your gem you can put your fiat in but you can't get it out it's kind of like a PUBG game maybe where yeah. you you know you put your money in you get your bp coins and then you can go and purchase you know whatever you want but you can't take that back do you know what i mean right you can't then go into your your pubg account and then reverse or sell your you know your your backpack or your helmet or something right and the money it's just like a one-way kind of situation right now yeah but they're going to change that you know so obviously so so exactly uh, definitely be more beneficial i think it was so funny because i told a few friends this that don't understand much about nfts like you can't cash out yet they're like bro are you an idiot it's a scam it's a scam he's like they're gonna rug pull you and i'm like no they're not yeah like that's why if you don't know about the company like just shut up because like you know like they're probably just used to hearing that about crypto and stuff but it was just so funny like i was like don't worry guys so yeah, I'm curious to get your perspective because I don't know if you saw the interview with Claire, but I just asked her, I said, you know, Dan Crothers came out saying that I think it was like up to 45% of, you know, users on the app are female. Um, but, you know, like I've only seen like a few big names in the space, like yourself and Claire that are females. And obviously mm. there's a lot more out there, but I'm just like, 
you know, where's, what's your take on that, I guess? Yeah, I, I, I agree with, well, I don't know if I agree with Dan, but um, I think the VV app, we're still, it's still super fresh and new. Um, yeah. And everybody, you know, it's not like Twitter or Facebook where people are putting their personal sort of things on it. Um, so we don't know who, kind of don't know who's who right now <laughs> on VV. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, just coming into the Twitter space in the past uh, two weeks, it's crazy. Two crazy. weeks, yeah, two weeks. Uh, and I've seen, I've seen so many Omi women. Right. Um, so many, you know, with their name, and then it, they, they've got the O in their in their title somewhere. Right. So, and I, yeah, I've been reaching out to all of them. So this is a shout out to all y'all you know who you are again and I've yeah. said to them that I would love you know if they don't have their own channel and they wanted to come on I would love to have them on and um, just you know and anybody fellas as well uh, right. you know people who don't have their own channel and they could just you know ha have somewhere to go and maybe you know talk about stuff uh, but yeah representation we just need uh, a more egalitarian approach mm. and I think following the Ecomi like that's definitely their their ethos and their um it seems like that's their goal you know to, to right. come down to to our level and everybody everybody be prospering together exactly. you know so definitely the women need you know we're out there i i can see that we're out there but i'm not sure about that statistic i'd, I'd probably because there's a lot of y'all you know yeah. there's a lot there's a lot of dudes um, right so it would be interesting to see like the Twitter statistic maybe, or like. Yeah, like some different statistics. I agree. Yeah. Cause I think right now, a lot of the statistics that we're kind of basing our perceptions on are like the YouTube analytics. So like mm -hmm. for me, I've got like 98.5% are male. And yeah. I'm like, wow, like that's so odd to think it's like 1.5% female, but then I'm like. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just like, me watching your videos. Like, you know, like, yeah, it's just funny, right? Because I'm like, if I do the math, let's say there's a thousand views. I'm like, maybe that's only, that's literally only like 10 females. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's just like, yeah. that's, you know, like that's a little bit low, right? So yeah. I was like, it's just interesting um just kind of hearing the different perspectives but maybe that's why like maybe like the kind of content that we're creating is not really appealing to like kind of the female user base as well like maybe it's like okay i don't want to hear about that side or maybe i want to hear more about something else but then at the same time like we talked about like i think there's a lot of stereotypes presuming that like there's certain content that's going to be more appealing to females it's like well no collecting is collecting so it's exactly. not like if I like have it like it's not like I can give a different perspective. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Exactly. But that's and the I assumptions. Feel, the assumption, and I feel like the assumption is the mother of all f ups. You know, assuming yeah. it it really is because you know you don't know you just don't know. And I I, I think I am a, a good example of that. And again, like I'm not your you know I I had a lot of guy mates growing up, and yeah. you know I was really into gaming and I love you know I have two two about my two best female friends you know we're not super girly and we love you know doing all this <laughs> yeah. sort of that's not us at all like right. you couldn't get further from that and you would get us so and there's no doubt that i love the unicornos and i love you know the design and everything mm -hmm. but i also love you know all of the batman series right. all of the you know i i i i've just completed um a Ron English set with some oh, help nice. from yeah from the community. Sweet. So I was so blessed, and I love like that's that's sort of my niche. I think I love the the art and the uh, the original creations and all of that. It's super right. interesting to me. Right. Um. So I think that would probably be my my, my favorite category. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like Dragon Girls, like my one of my favorites. Um. Yeah. And I love the like the Ron Englishes. I think I'm gonna love the the Kozaks that are gonna you know yeah. come out as well. So yeah, so those aren't typically girly or you know this exactly. And, and I hate seats and girly and fun. Yeah, I, yeah. it just doesn't fit. Right. It doesn't sit right with me at all. It really doesn't. doesn't right. Sit. Even that saying, it just doesn't sit right with me. It's so fascinating that you say that because you know like one of my favorite collectibles on the whole app is Ritmo, and. Mm. Uh, you know, and like, just cause it's got a lot of the hype, but it's a unicorno and it's like, 
oh, well, do I want to be speaking about that? Because like, you know what I mean? Like, and these are the types yeah. of things that like you consider, but then you're like, well, that's just me presuming.